So yeah, so where, where's where are you like? What's your background from? Like, so I'm um, originally um, I was born in Cuba, grew up in Orlando. Um, I spent I came to Orlando when I was three years old. Um, and basically just lived in East Orlando my whole life. I went to Union Park Middle and I went to University High School. University High School. Yeah, that's like right next to UCF. Okay. Yeah, so I went to First Institute. You First know, Institute. Yeah. Um. It's yeah. like something like Full Sail. Okay, gotcha. It's, like, it's in uh, it's like somewhere in Orlando, but it's like a year program and. Gotcha. Cool. Well, cool. high school you went to though? I went in Ocala. Ocala High. So yeah, I was born in Miami and then I moved around Florida my whole life. But yeah, Ocala High School or Forest High School is the name. Gotcha. But, okay. Yeah, but yeah. Um. So yeah, you, you. What made you move from like Cuba over here? Um. Opportunity. Yeah. My parents like my parents. So there's a um. I don't know if it's still around, but they used to call it the bombo. Um, it's like a system to where like families can go and register for like a lottery system, mm -hmm. and if your family gets selected, you basically get um, like a visa for for the U.S. and then in five years you could like sign up to be a citizen and uh -huh. you get like your residency. Okay. So we got lucky, we got picked, and you know, a lot of people who get picked they take the opportunity, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and that's I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean that's pretty cool that, that Cuba does that. Uh, I think that's open to the whole world Or to like a lot of countries Countries okay. well, yeah. I didn't I had no idea bro. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's still around But that, that should It was around at the around. time that's, I mean that's pretty cool Yeah um, That's pretty cool though Oh yeah um, Do you remember anything of Cuba Or not? You yeah like Yeah say? I mean I, I've gone back a couple times Okay um, When was the last time you went? 2018 2018 Dang, Okay okay Yeah well, it, th Things that? are rough though it's, it's, it's rough over there I'm not gonna lie yeah, is yeah. your family from what part of Cuba? Like, oh, uh, Matanzas. Is so that like, the coast? it's like, um, it's it's like the middle. It's kind of like middle middle of the island. Okay. But um, we were really close to um Varadero, which is like the really popular beach. Okay. Um, and then we were like like a two hour drive from Havana, so. Okay, it's pretty cool, bro. Yeah. Uh, I used to live in Ecuador for five years, so. Or. I did like I lived in Quito, which was like the middle. So I wasn't really like in the beach area, but I did go to the beaches and all that. All beautiful, um, cool, bro. Uh, how'd you get into video editing and like video or like you know video stuff? Um, so after, like you know after that show that you yeah. Did, so we're working with um Prince Prince the AT. Um, we just started like doing more more stuff together. Like he was really the first artist to. Um, for me and him to really like lock in and start growing together, mm -hmm. so we would work on um, on like social media videos for him, get him reels. Um, did my first music video with him. Were you guys friends before that? I'm guessing. So so crazy thing is that we were like locked in uh -huh. in like middle school. Okay. Like we were super close to middle school, but then high school we ended up going to two different high schools. Okay. And he and he moved around for a bit, so like we didn't talk like all throughout high school. Mm -hmm. So like the fact that he hit me up. It was like meant to be, like right, stars right, 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 and then yeah. we just built that relationship back again. That's pretty cool. From that, oh, yeah. so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and so the question was, oh, how, how did I just keep progressing through the yeah. video space? So, um, yeah, so just going through him, he he brought me out to like a bunch of different showcases. Um, I was like networking with a bunch of artists at the time, networking with promoters. I started to do um, like recap videos for like a lot of promoters, a lot of DJs. Small. Um, and yeah, what what? Where'd you learn to like network and promote and like you know f do all that? Trial and error. Trial and error. And Trial and error. Just just trying shit and seeing what works, seeing what didn't. Going out, shaking hands. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, like especially when it comes to social media, you just gotta you just gotta post. Like consistency. Everyone says consistency is key, but then most people aren't consistent. You feel mm -hmm. me? So. When you're consistent, you're gonna see your numbers go up just naturally. And when you know how to like really take over the algorithm, you know, 15 second videos, trending audios, um, the right hashtags, getting people to repost and like having engaging videos, mm -hmm. like you could really grow your social media. You feel me? I hear you. Yeah. Uh, um, and you say you have also a studio in Orlando. Yeah. So I got um shout out to TMC Orlando. They're my partners. Um, we got a. We got two recording studios and we got um, content spaces. We got the backdrop set up. Um, right now I got like five different colors, but we order colors on demand. And then 
Um, we got like four, four or five different um podcast rooms that we have available for interviews, content, podcasts, um, basically anything that you want to do in those rooms that they're available for rent, or you could book us to shoot it as well. Yeah, yeah. hell yeah, bro. How how did everything start? Um, with TMC. So um, I got introduced to TMC. Shout out to Phenom. He goes by Big Homie Phenom right now. He he's also an artist that I met. And um, he had me just come to the studio one day, shoot like a recap video for his session. Okay. And um, basically there I met the owners of the studio and we, we got locked in. Um, you know, we started talking business, talking about how we could help each other grow. And, you know, we ended up becoming partners and, you know, we do content days every Thursday where we shoot podcasts, we shoot content for the studio, we shoot content for, for the engineers, content for, for me as well. Yeah. And we've been doing that for since february of last year we've been doing that how'd you guys meet oh just, just pulling up to the studio phenom brought me into to, okay. to the studio and in yeah. like tmc he recorded there yeah it was, it was tmc studio okay okay yeah and he just works there and then you guys met yeah 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 so tmc is the um the company okay yeah the company and it's mainly owned by um it's co-owned by coastal and and anna um and they're like the anna's the head engineer and then coastal is the marketer wow yeah Wow, that's pretty cool, bro. Oh yeah. Um, I remember when I was interning at Asylum, I was learning like how you know how a music business was like running and everything, and being new to it, I was like admirized and intimidating at the whole system. I was like, damn, it's pretty cool how everything runs. And seeing you do it is also like admirable. I'm like, you know, yeah. Also hearing that you're 21 is like, damn, bro, you're super young. You have only done this for three years, and you've already accomplished a lot. You know. Yeah. So, Good oh. shit, good shit. Appreciate it, bro. Um, Appreciate it. And all those, you know, these, th I guess, three years that you've been doing this, what was the most, like, the thing that stands out the most, like, the project that stands out the most? Oh, the project that stands out the most. Oh, man, I feel like, I feel like every, every project that, every project, every new project that comes along is, like, it the next best it. project. Yeah. yeah. Like, for example, um, I just spent over a week and a half in, in Delaware. I saw you were, like, I yeah. saw your stories and everything. I was like, damn, bro, it looked like you were in, like, Jamaica or something. I don't know. Oh, no, that Delaware. Oh, Delaware is, ah, Delaware was so bland. I'm not going to lie, but. Delaware is Florida, right? No, Delaware is. Oh, wait, Delaware is a state. It's I'm, a I'm state. Tripping. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, I got you, I got you. It's a state in, um, by, like, New York. Okay, okay. It's, it's like, right next to Philadelphia. Yep. So, um, we was up there, like, shooting content for, like, a bunch of political people. Um, wow. We shot for for the governor. We shot for um, a congressperson that's running. We shot for the mayor of, of Wilmington, or someone who's running to be the mayor of Wilmington. Uh -huh. um, we shot for the county, someone who's running to be the county executive. So we're basically out there, you know, shooting content, shooting commercials for all these different um, political figures out there. And, wow. And I feel like that's 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 the next project. That's. I mean, that's pretty big. Yeah. I mean, at that point, he's like pretty big. Um, how where do you see yourself in the next five years and what type of like industry like niche in the industry um i don't know i've never been able to 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 pick just one niche and stick to it i feel like i'm i'm really versatile and you know i just go with whatever whatever's basically available at the time you know what i mean so right. like there there be months where i have four or five different music video shoots that i'm getting done and then the music industry might slow down Mm -hmm. And I might go, you know, do a lot more photo shoots with models or um, go do some camp, um, social media campaigns for, like, companies. You know what I mean? So it just depends whatever whatever is available. Um, like, if I had a choice, I'd be shooting music videos all day, every day. That's your favorite thing? Yeah, that's my favorite thing. I feel like that's what I'm most good at, and I feel like that's what I could be most creative of. I'd have the most control. Mm -hmm. Because when you're shooting a lot of, um, you know, social media campaigns and... Like, commercial work yeah commercial work you're kind of you kind of working with their script and what their brand is and i feel like with music videos like you you're able to incorporate what you want into it a little bit more compared to those other projects what what is your favorite video that you've done thus far favorite video music video music video um favorite i've, music I've seen video. a couple of your music videos and i don't know it's pretty hard to pick the one that you you know because you have a lot of videos i think i think um come correct by jada menace is my um my favorite one right now and why oh man i don't even know <laughs> i i just like the visuals i feel like i feel like the visuals came out really clean the, yeah. the effects the effects were really good we worked with um a vfx artist 
and he did a nice job. I added some VFX in there as well. Um, I think the song got put together well. Um, yeah, that's but pretty cool. I, I got yeah. one that I haven't edited yet. That I gotta edit. I'm I'm low key behind on it, mm. but um, it's for it, it's in French, um, or French or Creole. Honestly, I, I don't know what language. It, it, I don't it's understand a language. language besides English. Right, I right. You. And part of the song is in English, but like the hook and some of the verses are in French. Okay. And the music video um, it was directed by Coastal. Um, wow. the music video we got like a whole like storyline of like. He's like taking over like a palace, or or like he's taking over the castle, and we got like a crazy storyline to it. Like I don't know, you just gotta watch it where'd to you stay guys tuned. Where did you guys shoot it at? So we shot it here, um, in Orlando. We had an Airbnb that was like a castle themed Airbnb, uh-huh. and then he rented like a Maybach and he rented a, a Bentley. Dang. Yeah, a Bentley. No, not a Bentley. He, it was a Maybach and a um, and a Royce. Okay. Or Benny, I don't know one of them. One of he, he had nice two cars. exotic cars, and we used those exotic cars in the shoot as well. Um, and those look crazy, like like riding in the Maybach for the first time. You ever been in the Maybach? No, I've never seen one. Bro, well, I've seen like you know them flying around right. or whatever. The Maybach, like when you're in the front seats, the one thing that like really got me to where like yo, now I gotta buy a Maybach when I'm yeah when when I blow up is like when you turn the seats like hug you. Wow! Like, like, so, like, if you're making <laughs> a crazy. left turn that way, do you know how you kind of like yeah, you lean, it kind of like holds you, yeah. like hugs it you. It yeah. like literally. It li- I mean, the perfect description in. is hugs you, yeah, kind of like that. You. Yeah, that's crazy. So, so then when you're making turns and you don't move, you don't move, and and it's not just like the driver's seat; it's the passenger seat. And I don't know about the back seats because I didn't say sure. the back. I mean, but probably the back seats too. They probably hug you, that's and there's just crazy, crazy space. Like the whole back seat, like so we had a tall driver. And you know, tall drivers typically sit all the way back, and the guy in the back still had like a bad seat. Wow! Like, yeah, that was crazy. Dang. Maybach, Maybach's definitely on the bucket list now. Dang! What other cars are in the bucket list? Um. So when we, when we went up to uh, Delaware, we drove up there, and we had a Jeep Wagoneer. Jeep Wagoneer? Is that a Jeep wagon? No, no, no. Okay. Like a, like a Jeep. It's a Jeep, but like a Wagoneer. So it's like the like an Escalade, but like a Jeep. Okay. So it was like super nice. I'm guessing it's the top tier of Jeep. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. Um it's like it's like it's a really big truck. It's basically like a not a truck but like um like an SUV. Oh, like oh, a really okay, big okay. SUV. I got you. I got you. Kind of how you know like the Expedition is. Yeah. So but like a Jeep one. Okay. And it had like it was just really nice, super spacious. Yeah. Had the leather seats. That one that, that one was nice. definitely I, I like the, up there. those the SUV in Dodge. I don't know like the Have you seen the oh, Dodge the, SUVs? Oh the Durango. I don't know the names, but there's one. Or there's, I think it's called, like, Eagle or something like that. Oh, no. I don't know, but it's it's pretty crazy. Dodge, pretty yeah. Crazy. I'm not going to lie. I've never been a big Dodge fan. Like, I don't know. I feel like their cars are – I mean, they got they make nice cars. It's just – I don't know. I, I, so, I like I like luxury cars, right? I like I like the Same. leather seats. I like the I like the experience. I feel like when you, when you get in the Dodge, you, you get the power, but you don't really get the experience. They're more sport cars. Yeah. 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 I, I, for me, my favorite car, or like the cars that I admire, is the Rolls Royce. It's always, always been like my bucket list because it's like so spacious, you can do anything. It's like a little cube that you're just running, riding around. Yeah. In. So, so, so crazy thing is, is that for at first when we got the cars, I'm like, yo, the Rolls Royce is gonna be nicer than a Maybach. Uh-huh. Than a Maybach. But like everyone who, who who interacted with it is like, yeah, I'd rather buy the Maybach than the Rolls Royce. That's crazy. Just because like the Maybach gave you like gave you like high end. Top tier car, while the Rolls Royce gave you like that vintage vibe, mm. where it was more like 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 I feel like if you're an old head, you're gonna like the Rolls Royce a little bit more. But like if you if you're young and like you like all the features that the Maybach got, you're gonna Definitely. go with the Maybach. Yeah. yeah. Um. So whenever you got into music videos, what what was the artist that you like inspired you? Like you know. Um. Inspired me. Or like who was it? Yeah. Like whenever you started making music videos, what videos that you so see? Like, I've always been, I've always, like, liked watching, like, hmm. Because it's pretty cool that you like music videos, because, like, bro, for me, it's literally m- making music and then making videos. So when I say making videos, it's basically supporting my music, so it's right. music videos. So, yeah, it's pretty cool that you like music videos as well, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd say I like... I mean, I feel like everybody's, you know, superhero. Superman is Cole Bennett. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, of course, him. of course, of course. I feel like there's not like a director per se, but I like a style. So like you know how you watch like a like a a, a Vivo music video and it's just yeah. super clear, 
kind of cinema quality yeah to where it is it doesn't have like a crazy amount of effects it's just clean cuts the right angles the right story yeah, yeah. i feel like that's that's really what i like to do got you. hell yeah bro i like like so my thing's always been like super high quality like I, i'll scratch a whole video if it just doesn't look clean you feel me quality or quantity yeah 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 um do you listen to any spanish music um i do but like or did you, did you grow up in Spanish music? I did, but like, I kind of, I kind of grew away from it in my teens. Like yeah. my play, my parents always played Spanish music. Yeah. But I kind of grew into more of like the hip hop trap type of type of vibe, cause <laughs> that's crazy. Me too, bro. I, I don't know, like, and I was still like, you I, gravitated to it. I just gravitated to it naturally. Okay, you well, feel me? Thank God, me too. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of people that are like, you don't listen to Spanish music. And I'm like, I'm, I just don't. I, I hear there's Bad Bunny and whatever, but. I'd rather listen to like you know rap or like right. than Spanish music. Yeah, like don't don't get me wrong. Like if, if we in the car and we vibe, and I'll throw on some Bad Bunny and, yeah, and some Manuel, and you I'll feel vibe me? To some Spanish music. I'll, I'll vibe to but like if I'm like when I drove here, I wasn't I wasn't listening to Spanish music. I was, what were you listening to? I was listening to. Uh, I just had like a playlist on, so I, I had some I had some Big X to plug. I had some I had some Kodak playing. I had some some Boston Richie playing. I had, um, Quinn. Quinn NFN, you know. Yes, him? he's like kind of new, right? Um, yeah, kind of yeah. new. I had, does he have I had like an album cover that's red, and he's like, maybe animated. Possibly, so, possibly, possibly, possibly. But yeah, I hear you. Do you listen to any UK rap? I've been getting into that lately. <sighs> nah, not really. No. True. All right. Hey, I used to hate UK rap, but now I'm. I love UK rap. It's basically really? all UK rap. Yeah. I, I listened to a little bit when when like the the drill rap was really popping. Sure. Central but C, you like Central C or no? <sighs> I like a couple of his songs, but I'm not the I'm not listening to like the whole album. You like his music videos? I really am a fan of his music videos. Central C, obviously like a lot of Cole Bennett, but Khabib, that music video is really nice. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I've I, I can't you recall. Seen, nah, I hear you, I, I've probably seen I'm it. Just I just ain't recalling it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. What was like? What are your favorite music videos that you can like? Damn, like whenever I say that, you're like, ooh. Um, so I always reference this one, um, Money by JID. Uh, I think so. It's I like so. it's like so the whole music video like Jaddy's not even in the video. Okay. It's like just the whole short film basically music video. Wow. Um. What else do I like? I like I like some um, Drew from the music videos. Okay. Um, when he used to shoot a lot with like Melly, and um, who else he used to shoot a lot with? Um. I know recently he did that one with Boss Mandito. That one was hard too. Okay. Um, Drew filmed it definitely. He's yeah, definitely, the, definitely yeah. the man for sure. Um, where have where would you want to travel whenever, you're, like you know, in the future? Places. Like, so I want to hit to work. Like you know, I want to make videos and get them Hawaii and like islands, Hawaii, Jamaica. Ooh, like those have been Ecuador. I mean, Galapagos is like a exotic island from Ecuador. It's like the fifth wonder of the world, and. Yeah, I've always wanted to like. It's really like exotic. You have to uh, get permission to go there first of all. That that's where they did the um those studies right with the um with the evolution. I'm not sure, but James probably. James Baldwin, I think. You probably right, bro. I'm not sure. But yeah, I feel right. like Galapagos. That sounds that sounds familiar. Yeah, but that's like a place for me that I want to like make music videos. Really? How about yourself? So in the winter time, I want to go up north. Shoot, shoot in like like the ski mountains in like Colorado. Mm. I want to do something there. Um, I want to go up to like I feel like the deserts in like Arizona. I feel like that's that's a different environment. Yeah, for sure. You can make it look like it's at a different planet. Facts, facts, Big facts. Things. Um, Utah got the soft flats. That's true. Um, I, f I feel like I, I want to go to Texas. I want to go to Austin. I want to go to Houston. Um, where that, have you gone? I I haven't been there yet. To, to shooting shooting, I've only been to Memphis, Atlanta, and then um, Delaware. Delaware. That's cool, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, when you were younger, did you ever like get pick up a camera or like never? Nah, what? nah. When, when I was younger, I used to play baseball. Oh really? So I thought I thought Dang. I was going to the league. You feel me? That's cr so. The baseball was your first love. You yeah, yeah. I played baseball since from six to sixteen. 
wow, you played. You were yeah. a ten year. You were you put your ten thousand hours in that shit. Yeah, no, nah, and that was good. I feel like I feel like I I could have played college ball. Yeah, but I, I felt I I I lost my love for the game, basically. You, you probably me? grew out of it. Yeah, um, I feel like the high school experience, the high school baseball experience, like really just did it for me. Were you a fan of high school or no? Um, what do you mean? Like a lot of people are like, yeah, my high school experience was really good. Like I had friends and like, oh yeah, no, teachers. the high school experience was good. I'm saying like the high school baseball experience. Oh okay okay. Yeah yeah like yeah. Coaches. Teammates. Um, it was like like the amount of work that we we needed to put in, the payoff wasn't wasn't there. Like we were losing a lot of games. Um, I feel like I feel like me being one of the better players on the team, other people didn't put the work in necessary to to help us get to where we needed to go, mm-hmm. and. By the time, and then, I don't know, I was more focused on actually, like, doing schoolwork than actually, like, baseball. Mm-hmm. So, like, um, junior year comes around, I start doing, like, doing Roman and stuff. And I'm like, yo, I'm not about to try out for this team. Yeah. And, like, have to worry about this. So, I was like, yo, I'm going to just get a job, do doing Roman, and forget baseball. Like, because if I go to college, it's going to be, like, even more work for the same payoff. And I'm going to just be doing what I could do now because mm-hmm. I, I knew I didn't have potential to actually make this actual career. You feel me? Like I probably would have went to college one year, two years, and then just got a degree and left. So I, I basically could have just done that while I was in high school instead of doing all the extra work of being in baseball. You feel me? Yeah. What, what made you fall in love with the game? Baseball? Yeah. Um, bro, competition, bro. I felt like that's, that, that's what made me competitive. Um. Little League, I was always one of, like, the best players in the team. Mm. But I was always on the bad teams. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, if you're the smartest in the room, you, that means that says something. You have to be the – you always want to be seeking for smarter people. Than you. Right, right. So that says something. Because I remember, like, me playing in YMCA soccer. I was the best player, and that's – I was like, bro, I'm not growing. I'm not becoming a better player. I'm just, like, yeah, staying at where I'm at. But Well, well my thing was that I was playing against the better players, but I didn't have the – that's the support to be able to win how, how it's supposed to win. So I'm over here, doing everything, carrying the whole team. Yeah, carrying the whole team just to yeah. lose at the, at the end of the day because yeah. I didn't have the, the rest of the team to, help me go forward. Especially in baseball, that's that's a team sport. Yeah. You know I mean, if it was golf, then you know, who knows? I might be in the PGA tour. But what uh, what other sports you got into? Oh, um, basketball. I, I play basketball more now than anything. Oh, but yeah, just, just just street ball, basically. Not nothing like no leagues or. Yeah. I just go out to the court, go play basketball. Nice, bro. Nice. Um, yeah. You be going to the gym or like you just play basketball? Is that you? That's um, a good way to stay active. Yeah, just just play basketball. I'll, well, I got like a group on the east side that we all meet go, up. Go hoop. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I used to play basketball before, like, you know, I used to go to school. Yeah. In the mornings and shit. I'm guessing you didn't go to f- film uh, film school. What do you, what's your opinion on film school? Um, that? It depends what what you want to do with your career path, right? Um, if if you want to go into the film industry, if you're trying to work on like you know big movie projects, if that's what you're looking to do, yeah, go to film school. You're gonna need the the credentials. You're gonna um, that that's what that's what they're kind of looking for. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you're looking to like take the independent route and kind of run your own business um it's not really that necessary as long as you you're still educating yourself what you need to get educated to to really know your craft and you're still you know growing on a day-to-day basis i feel like school isn't necessary if if you could find the right resources outside of school Mm -hmm. so youtube university um courses you can always buy courses Mm -hmm. And things like that, or or just start like an internship somewhere to where you're learning um, mm-hmm. from somebody else. What was like your uh, something that like taught you a lot in your, you know, starting years? Um, I used to watch Peter McKinnon a lot. You Is know, he, YouTuber. YouTuber. I probably seen him. But YouTuber. Um, he he's a really big photographer. Um, he was definitely one of my big inspirations when I was learning how to take photos. And gotcha. Yeah, he he taught me a lot. Um. In, yeah. Do you have you ever thought about uh, making a YouTube channel like a YouTuber? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got a YouTube channel. I be okay. I, I, I post like BTS vlogs on there. I post all my podcasts on there. Okay. You so, guys, you guys send me. I, I have yeah. not found that. But I got you. I'll send it to you. Hell yeah. Um, um 
How long have you been doing the, that YouTube? Like three years? Or when nah. did you start? It, it's, it's been super inconsistent. Oh, I, 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 I have videos in there from like two years ago, but like I might go like a whole year without posting. Bro, I've been there. I've, I've yeah. been doing, I've been uplo- uploading videos for like 10 years now. So I've been literally, sometimes uh, I upload twice a day and sometimes I don't upload for like, like you said, two months or months, almost a year sometimes. But yeah, yeah my, my thing is that I'm so busy working on other people's projects that my projects just kind of get put up, like on the back burner. You That's funny. Me? For me, it's the other way. <laughs> really? <laughs> it, like I have no projects to work with and I, I just work on my own projects. That's why I'd be working so many videos for myself. Or that's why, I mean, that's why I have the ability to do this stuff because it's for myself you know yeah but that's pretty cool huh? yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah um hell yeah if you would were to give advice to somewhere to, to someone like a past version of yourself like if a portal opened up and you know 10 year old you or 12 year old you i would say 15 year old you you know it comes in don't don't be um don't be a a, a forex guru so I got gotcha. you. Don't, yeah, leave did that you alone. Bitcoin? Or like, did you get into that? Type yeah, of? yeah. I was, I was in that whole world. I, I was in that it. whole world. I was in that world for like four months. Uh, four months. But you know what? I don't regret it though. Yeah, because I, I'm sure that taught you something that. I yeah, that that taught me a lot about entrepreneurship and it helped me kind of find what. Help me find like my my drive to to start my own business and to, to not depend on having a job basically, you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Because if I didn't start doing that, I'd probably be in school right now, like, studying, like, computer engineering or something. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, shit, it's a blessing sometimes to things that happen to, like, make you go on that route, that independent route. Um, I I went to college for one day, and I dropped out that same day because I was like, bro, I got scared. I was like, I'm not doing this shit. But, yeah. (laughs) Really? Fuck that, yeah. Yeah, no, I went so – I got an associate's degree now. But like that was that was cause all my like dual enrollment I did uh-huh. in in high school, and so right out of high school, right, um, same time that I was starting to pick up the camera, I went to the school in Ma- in Lakeland called uh, Florida Polytechnic for computer engineering. Okay. And I went there for one semester, failed like half the classes, and during the time I'm over here like making music videos, you know, starting to get the business going, yeah. and after that one semester, I'm like, yo. Not about to do this anymore. Like, mm-hmm. fuck going to class every day. Fuck homework. Fuck all that. I'm gonna just pick up the camera, do DoorDash on the side. Yeah. And and yeah, it, even though like the next semester I ended up going to Valencia just to finish my associate's degree, but to this day I haven't even used it for anything. Like, I don't know. But I got it though. I'm. I, I do plan on going back to to school in the future though. For what? I don't know. I, I I really like computer engineering. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but like, what part of the computer computer engineering are you passionate about? Um, I like I, I was always big into like robotics. That's pretty cool. Into robotics, bro. yeah. I like building stuff. Um, I like troubleshooting. I like fixing things. To be honest. Yeah. So like, if there's like, you know, if there's like a computer that's broken, I gotta like take it apart, uh-huh. dissect it, figure out what the issue is. And then fix it. Um, that's 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 one thing that I really like. Do you do like troubleshoot and like fix a lot of things in the studio? Like when oh things, yeah, like, go wrong, oh especially like, bro I with the it. camera with yeah. the studio. Like so so I have a term called like Cuban engineering, right? Okay. So what Cuban engineering is is that you know Cubans we don't got too much to work with, uh-huh. so we just work with what we got and we got to make it happen and, and make the best out of, out of any situation. So um, I might have like a stand that just broke, so I might put the stand on up against the wall and then lean it this way and then now I got the light to and point make it work and just make it work yeah. you feel me yeah. and so if, if anybody has had a gimbal before you know that you know sometimes you might have parts of the gimbal that just fall off or you just can't find it and sometimes you just gotta throw like a um what's it called the the little screws like a tap screw okay just just screw it into the camera yeah. and hold it down to to get the shoot done with the gimbal Fuck and it. whatever works whatever works yeah. like um to get the job done yeah so i didn't have counterweights for the gimbal right okay so what i did is that i took a bunch of heavy washers put them around the screw and then put um wow. 
put like a, a nut on it and then it was like it was like two pounds or yeah. no it was like like a pound and it was, i used it as a counterweight for like for like a month until i could get to the counterweight a came month? in damn that's some good ass yeah. cuban engineering bro that's yeah crazy. yeah yeah that's crazy um that's pretty cool uh so what now i uh a question is a like a project or like something that turned from an l to a lesson Type mm, L to a lesson Like it could be a project Or an encounter Or a I don't know Like for me It was like the, You know Probably I mean there are a lot of things Obviously But like something that stands out Was um, When I got kicked out From like the studio I was interning at I was just like it was dev- I was devastated Because I was like Bro I've been here for a year I was expecting a You were job. interning for a year? Yeah What? Not a year Like eight months About a year you were interning but for eight months. That's crazy. Shit. I don't know, I want to say eight, ten months. But I was just, like, hopeful when I was, like, you know, faithful, loyal. And I was, like, enjoying my time because it is something I love. So I was just there doing my thing. And then they kind of, like, said, hey, we're, there's no spot for you. And I was like, all right. And, yeah. And you, were shit. you, like, um, interning to be an engineer or? I was interning to be an engineer. But then, yeah, there was, like, other engineers and I was like damn and then I mean I I have 100% what I say like elf to a lesson for me I learned that I was like you know that wasn't my spot yeah like I ha- there was something to learn there if it was my spot I would have gotten the job type shit you know yeah. what I mean so that's an L that I have to learn where's the lesson but yeah type an L. I'm trying to think of an L I've definitely had them definitely had them um, I mean, if you think about it, not being a baseball player, that's an L turn into a lesson, right? That, I mean, the the the, the, the forex, yeah, the yeah. forex, yeah. Um, I learned a lot from from being in that ecosystem in that world. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it definitely made me more keen to to be on my toes when it comes to interacting with people and and who to trust and who to consider. You know, the people who are really looking out for you and people who just getting you in the moment. You feel me? Yeah. So I say that'd be probably the biggest one. And what what do you, what have you learned in like those jobs like Walmart, DoorDash, and like those type of jobs? Like, what what did you learn that um, you like still apply? Shit, um, timeliness, bro. Like being on time. Like that's, I don't know. I feel like I've always been an on time type of person, but like, especially when you're on DoorDash, like you you trying to you trying to. Oh yeah, move. I mean, you trying yeah, to move because you trying to do as many orders money. as possible yeah. in time. So, so when you in the car, you just gotta zoo, 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 drop it off, get the next order. You and feel it was me? all in Orlando or like DoorDash in Orlando? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I always so DoorDash. You know where you were going? It was oh like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I already had the I had the routes planned out. Like I already knew like if I take this road at this time, there's gonna be hella traffic. So That's I gotta go. Yeah. I gotta take the back road over here. Yeah, I'm trying to stay away from this area because they don't be tipping. So, yeah, That's smart. Like bro. like UCF, bro. That's There's a bunch all of college, kids. all kids. So yeah. like they be giving like dollar tips, like dollar tips. You know we appreciate it, but like dollar tips. We want the ten dollar tips. Yeah, we want the eight, tips. seven dollar tips. Like make it, make it. What's worth the my biggest while. tip you gotten? I've gotten like a like a thirty, thirty, forty dollar tip. It, it was off of catering. So like somebody bought like three hundred dollars worth of food. They said, all right, ten percent tip, thirty bucks. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, um, that's pretty cool, bro. Who who's like someone like the artists that you be listening now? Um, shit. So I'll, I'll give you some in the city that I really fuck with. Um, shout out to Lanaya West. She's definitely turning up. She got a um, an EP. She's dropping this month. I think the twenty fifth, no twenty fourth. I think she got an EP dropping this month. Princess Chicken. Um. Shout out to Jada Menace. Jada Menace, definitely. He's been popping for a while now, but he definitely, he about to hit that next level. Um, shout out um, Mowgli. Mowgli, okay. Mo- Mowgli, definitely. He, he from the east side. He he, he got some he got, he got some bars. He, he got cool. some flows that cool. definitely going to get him right. Shout out Prince DAT. He hasn't dropped some music in a minute, but I still be bumping his shit, his unreleased shit. <laughs> but only I can listen to him, though. Yeah. Yeah, and not too many people got those. Um, That's pretty cool, bro. Let's see who else I be fucking with. Shout out with Wendell Jr. Um, Wendell Jr. Yeah, he he he's got so he's I feel like he's got the most unique sound out of everybody, cause he got um he got like a like a like a house pop type of vibe. Okay. 
and he his 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 music super boppy, um, but he could also like make a love song and that should be crazy. It's almost so. like T So Touchdown. Have you heard of him? Um, I've heard of him, but I can't I can't think of like his songs at the moment to really reference it. 